Biryani is a mixed rice dish originating among the royal kansamas of the Durbar of Old Delhi, under the Mughal Empire, during the late 16th century of the then Mughal court. It is made with Indian spices, rice, and usually some type of meat chicken, beef, goat, lamb, prawn, fish or in some cases without any meat, and sometimes, in addition, eggs and potatoes. Biryani is one of the most popular dishes in South Asia, as well as among the diaspora from the region. Similar dishes are also prepared in other parts of the world such as in Iraq, Thailand, Singapore and Malaysia. Biryani is the single most ordered dish on Indian online food ordering and delivery services. The exact origin of the dish is uncertain. In North India, different varieties of biryani developed in the Muslim centers of Delhi, Mughlai cuisine. Rampur, Lucknow, Awadi cuisine and other small principalities. In South India, where rice is more widely used as a staple food, several distinct varieties of biryani emerged from Hyderabad Deccan, where some believe the dish originated, as well as Tamil Nadu, Amber, Thanjavur, Chetanag, Salem, Dindigal, Kerala, Malabar, Telangana, and Karnataka, Bhatkal, where Muslim communities were present. According to historian Lizzie Collingham, the modern biryani developed in the royal kitchens of the Mughal Empire, 1526-1857, and is a mix of the native spicy rice dishes of India and the Persian pilaf. Indian restaurateur Chris Dillon believes that the dish originated in Persia, and was brought to India by the Mughals. Another theory claims that the dish was prepared in India before the first Mughal emperor Babur conquered India. The 16th century Mughal text Ain I Akbari makes no distinction between biryanis and pilaf, or pulau, it states that the word, biryani, is of older usage in India. A similar theory, that biryani came to India with Timur's invasion, appears to be incorrect, because there is no record of biryani having existed in his native land during that period. According to Pratibha Karan, who wrote the book Biryani, biryani is of South Indian origin, derived from pilaf varieties brought to the Indian subcontinent by Arab traders. She speculates that the pulau was an army dish in medieval India. Armies would prepare a one-pot dish of rice with whichever meat was available. Over time, the dish became biryani due to different methods of cooking, with the distinction between pulau and biryani being arbitrary. According to Biswanath Shanoi, the owner of a biryani restaurant chain in India, one branch of biryani comes from the Mughals, while another was brought by the Arab traders to Malabar in South India. There are various apocryphal stories dating the invention to Shah Jahan's time but Rana Saifi, the distinguished historian, says she could only find a recipe from the later Mughal period, from Bahadur Shah Zafar's time. It is not her claim that there was no biryani before that, just that she has not found a recipe. Other historians who have gone through texts say that the first references to biryani only appear around the 18th century. Pilaf or pulau, as it is known in the Indian subcontinent, is another mixed rice dish popular in the cuisines of the Indian subcontinent, Central Asia, and Middle Eastern cuisine. Opinions differ on the differences between pulau and biryani, and whether actually there is a difference between the two. According to Delhi-based historian Suhil Hashmi, pulau tends to be plainer than biryani, and consists of meat or vegetables cooked with rice with the bottom layered with potatoes or onions. Biryani contains more gravy, or yakni, and is often cooked longer, leaving the meat and vegetables, if present more tender, and the rice more flavored. Biryani is also cooked, with additional dressings and often would have a light layer of sokarat at the bottom. Pratibha Karan states that while the terms are often applied arbitrarily, the main distinction is that a biryani consists of two layers of rice with a layer of meat and vegetables, if present, in the middle, while the pulau is not layered. There are many types of biryani, whose names are often based on their region of origin. For example, Sindhi biryani developed in the Sindh region of what is now Pakistan, and Hyderabadi biryani developed in the city of Hyderabad in South India. Some have taken the name of the shop that sells it, for example, Haji Biryani, Haji Nana Biryani in Old Dhaka, Fakruddin Biryani in Dhaka, Students Biryani in Karachi, Lucky Biryani in Bandra, Mumbai and Baghdadi Biryani in Kalaba, Mumbai. Biryanis are often specific to the Muslim communities where they originate, they are usually the defining dishes of those communities. Amber, Vaniyambadi Biryani is a variety cooked in the neighboring towns of Amber and Vaniyambadi in the Tirupattur district of the northeastern part of Tamil Nadu, which has a high Muslim population. It was introduced by the Nawabs of Arkot who once ruled the area. 
It is typically made with basmati or jira samba rice. The amber, banayambadi biryani is accompanied with dalcha, a sour brinjal curry, and pachati or retha, sliced onions mixed with plain curd, tomato, chilies and salt. It has a distinctive aroma and is considered light on the stomach. The usage of spice is moderate and curd is used as a gravy base. It also has a higher ratio of meat to rice. Amber-style biryani is popular as street food all across South India. This is an integral part of the Navayath cuisine and a specialty of Bhatkal, a coastal town in Karnataka. Its origins are traced to the Persian traders who left behind not only biryani but a variation of kebabs and Indian breads. In Bhatkali biryani, the meat is cooked in an onion and green chili-based masala and layered with fragrant rice. It has a unique spicy and heady flavor, and the rice is overwhelmingly white with mild streaks of orange. Though similar to those in Thalassery, this biryani differs with lingering after notes of mashed onions laced with garlic. A few chilies and spices littered with curry leaves lends a unique flavor to Bhatkal biryani. No oil is used. Chetanad biryani is famous in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. It is made of jiraka samba rice, and smells of spices and ghee. It is best taken with nenju alumbu kuzambu, a spicy and tangy goat meat gravy. The potty kazi is usually topped with fried onions and curry leaves. The Delhi version of biryani developed a unique local flavor as the Mughal kings shifted their political capital to the North Indian city of Delhi. Until the 1950s, most people cooked biryani in their home and rarely ate at eateries outside of their homes. Hence, restaurants primarily catered to travelers and merchants. Any region that saw more of these two classes of people nurtured more restaurants, and thus their own versions of biryani. This is the reason why most shops that sold biryani in Delhi, tended to be near mosques such as Jama Masjid, for travelers, or traditional shopping districts such as Chanmi Chowk. Each part of Delhi has its own style of biryani, often based on its original purpose, thus giving rise to Nizamuddin biryani, Shah Jahanabad biryani, etc. Nizamuddin biryani usually had little expensive meat and spices as it was primarily meant to be made in bulk for offering at the Nizamuddin Darga shrine and thereafter to be distributed to devotees. A non-dum biryani, using many green chilies, popularized by the Babu Shahi Bawarchi shops located outside the National Sports Club in Delhi is informally called Babu Shahi Biryani. Another version of Delhi Biryani uses akar, pickles, and is called Akari Biryani. The capital of Bangladesh named Dhaka is known for selling Chevan Biryani, a dish made with highly seasoned rice and goat meat. The recipe includes highly seasoned rice, goat meat, mustard oil, garlic, onion, black pepper, saffron, clove, cardamom, cinnamon, salt, lemon, doi, peanuts, cream, raisins and a small amount of cheese either from cows or buffalo. Haji biryani is a favorite among Bangladeshis living abroad. A recipe was handed down by the founder of one Dhaka restaurant to the next generation. Haji Muhammad Shahed claimed, I have never changed anything, not even the amount of salt. Dakaya Kaki biryani is accompanied by borani, a salted mint drink made of yogurt, coriander, mint and salt. The Dindigul town of Tamil Nadu is noted for its biryani, which uses a little curd and lemon juice for a tangy taste. Hyderabadi biryani is India's most famous biryani, some say biryani is synonymous with Hyderabad. The crown dish of Hyderabadi cuisine, Hyderabadi biryani developed under the rule of Asaf Jah I, who was first appointed as the governor of Deccan by the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb. It is made with basmati rice, spices and goat meat. Popular variations use chicken instead of goat meat. There are various forms of Hyderabadi biryani, such as kache gosht ki biryani or dum biryani, where goat meat is marinated and cooked along with the rice. It is left on a slow fire or dum for a fragrant and aromatic flavor. Kalyani biryani is a typical biryani from the former state of Hyderabad Deccan. Also known as the poor man's Hyderabadi biryani, Kalyani biryani is always made from small cubes of buffalo meat. The meat is flavored with ginger, garlic, turmeric, red chili, cumin, coriander powder, and much onion and tomato. It is first cooked as a thick curry and then cooked along with rice. Then given dum, the Indian method of steaming in a covered pot. Kalyani biryani is supposed to have originated in Bidar during the reign of the Kalyani Nawabs, who migrated to Hyderabad after one of the Nawabs, Ghazanfar Jang married into the Asaf Jahi family. 
Kalyani Biryani was served by the Kalyani Nawabs to all of their subjects who came from Bidar to Hyderabad and stayed or visited their Devdi or noble mansion. Calcutta or Kolkata Biryani evolved from the Lucknow style, when Awad's last Nawab Wajid Ali Shah was exiled in 1856 to the Kolkata suburb of Mediabruz. Shah brought his personal chef with him. The Kolkata Biryani is characterized by the unique presence of potato in it, along with meat and egg, dim, in Bengali. It is said that the Nawab, having is lost his kingdom, could not afford meat, so his chefs tried to compensate by adding potato. But serious historians have rejected this as a myth. When Wajid Ali Shah arrived in Kolkata, potato was an exotic vegetable in India and the former Nawab of Awad, being a connoisseur of great food encouraged their chefs to try new ingredients in the dish. The Kolkata biryani is much lighter on spices but high on flavors.